Hello there and welcome to yet another episodic part of the Walking Dead playthrough game through everybody says to. In this uh, episode part three, drugs make everything better, we see our guy, the black guy, doing his usual thing, which is to say that we are currently on a farm which we managed to get to at the end of part two um, and we found out that Herschel stays here and there's a family of which that woman who is a member of the Kennedy family was a veterinarian basically we don't know a lot about this new place but we do have a general idea that we're going to have to we're, we're going to have to become like a family we're going to have to get used to being with each other how did you or we can die. The city? Those are the and choices given to us. Drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just obviously, this isn't going to be one okay. of those walkthroughs where I usually get to talk I a lot. That's because the options are available on the game. The That's that to say, through. you know, it gives you your four choices of what to say, and, and in that way, that it's you unique. But I will, I will occasionally talk over Robert, useless conversations, and if you want to follow their conversations, just follow the, it in the subtitles. When something is happening to you, and what you're being given, maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is. I mean, this is, I'm just trying to learn some background on these people so I know how to treat them. Because people you seems like no matter what si what new situations you get into, they I'm rarely adapt from their norm. So if these people oh, didn't have it in them to kill that? before the start of it's easy. Well, yeah. this um, zombie apocalypse, so I doubt they can kill good? after. But they oh, say that everyone changes, so that just means like that without the regulations of law and enforcement of those laws, animal? you make your own, don't you? You make your own moral laws. And if there's nothing wrong with killing zombies, it can't you be too nice far before there's nothing time. wrong with yeah. killing humans. Yeah. Just wonder why it'll take to tip the scales. I mean, we battered a woman's face in on the second one. You can actually even see it on part two. But anyway, let's check out the rest of Herschel's farm here. I can't judge too much if this is what an ordinary farm looks like. It's not the most I'm, a city, I'm an in the world, urban lad myself from now. the rurals. Hey there. We have nearby yeah. farms, just don't. But they don't look like these. I mean, you have barns, I suppose. Good, I think. We certainly have silos, we but usually the complexes visitor. are bigger than we these. Gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought Maybe I'll be a farmer one day. It doesn't look like too hard a job. Two seconds I'm quite laid back, I imagine. Christ. And I always like the idea of using my hands. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. To Ain't be a rich worker, us. that'll be the day. Need any this help? guy reminds me an awful no, lot of my dad, I think I got it. except, you know, he's got you need any a help? Texan's beard and sounds like a Texan. I mean, in taking but care the addiction of to girl. fixing the car you know certainly grease monkey you trait kids of, your own? of pretty much all fathers, unless they're middle class. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing I wonder right. how the Those class divide factors into this game. Sure that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better Interesting than that to if the see don't show if they up. keep their hierarchy. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got I mean, too can you bad, imagine? we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman. Can you imagine mackerel, dolphin, if the government in this game has collapsed, and does that mean anyone who was a previous member of the government the would become like a leader? See ya. wonder how they work it out. Or is it just process of um, how well you did? Lead by example, I reckon. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. Hmm. I can give you a hell of a critique you know, a little bit extra farm about farms, I suppose. Do you uh, 
think this thing will keep him out? I mean, I certainly know very little about how you attract. I'd like to learn how you attract, if you will. Maybe it may one day be a very useful skill. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. Mm -hmm. If you could cut those two bites yeah. in length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Bastard. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting conversations going there. Well, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. This guy starts going on about lying. For your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Sorry about that, where were we? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Well, in my opinion, there's always a good time for an apocalypse. Shakes things up, gets the natural order running. When corruption is rampant and the undeserving are in power, that is when it's the perfect moment for an apocalypse to shake things up and start the regoverning system again. Although, personally, I was always a big fan of nomading. So the idea of us having to survive like this... It's a way of chafing the fat off. And, sadly... Of cutting well, the population. They're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine. The evil always takes the up on her. uncorruptible with them. That's the side yes. effect of using I evil to achieve your goals. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Of course, wise old man. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar and fast. Let's what? Things what kind of crappy advice is that? I haven't been lying once since the, the beginning, and now you're telling me I should be a better liar. Some people truth. just aren't content with the truth in, anymore. And in a world where everything's gone to hell, I think it's a good time for us to repent and forget the past. Because damn hell, there are enough people who were good before they started that are going to go evil. You need people like me around, people who've got a darker side, that'll fight for the light. In all of us. Go! I'll get my gun. Oh crap! That sounds like my particular skills are needed. Crap! 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 Uh -oh. 
stupid duck, he's trapped the damn bastard under a tractor. That's not helping the situation. Okay, there's no choice here, I need to save duck. I mean, it's no lie that I've seen people play Walking Dead before and they always seem to make the unwise choice, you know? In my opinion, you save the child. It's just like the iRobot thing. The child has a future. You shouldn't, you shouldn't kill him. Allow him to die. You try and save him if you can. And by saving the child, you're saving the future. Oh. Herschel is not going to like me after this. And that's being light. He's got a shotgun. This is not improving the situation, I'll tell you that now. Man can do dangerous things when he's in a lot of... when he's in a dark place. I'm not sure if I should have tried to save him to repay his kindness. But there are three zombies on him. There's not much I could have done. Get the fuck out of here! Doesn't make me feel any better about sorry. the situation. Sorry. Your son but you can't alive. just allow a child to die. To he was a grown man. He had loads of planks wood near him. He should have... He knew what he was doing, what he was getting himself into. He should have saved, known how to save, the, about the boy. save himself. But you weren't worried about that. Please. I don't like it when I'm put in a situation where there's no right choice. And never come back. Otherwise I would have tried hard to save them both. Between a rock and a hard place is certainly the right metaphor in this case. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh, Clementine. If nothing, we'll keep that kid alive. Now I find it interesting that obviously Kenny there is a fisherman apparently so you should know how to gut, use a knife to gut a few people. We're going to need his skills. Well, we're going to need his boat. Hopefully he'll trust us enough to tell us where it is so that even if he dies we can continue on without him. So this is Macon, eh? The place my bloke's from. I don't, don't look too bad, too worse for wear, say? Eh? Could have looked, could have been better. I think it's best we keep quiet around here. Hey Not sure You're how many friendly? survivors there are. Trucks run out of gas. How many of the dead there are. Fuck. Oh wow. Not a smart group we got, is it? I don't know who this woman is, but she saved me, and I'm not making the same mistake I did last time. I'm gonna save her if I have the option. Saving children is a higher priority, but you know, as they say, women and children first. So I saved the child last time. I'll save the woman this time. It's been a woman and a man. Plus, she knows how to handle a gun. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. <laughs> then we let them. Oh, we're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying. 
Fuck. We're in a war zone. Uh, well, she's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control. Uh, that's one way to greet guests. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Poor child, I know he wasn't bitten. I was watching that zombie when I couldn't have, could have been dealing with him. But still, we better to be observing, I suppose. Up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Back off, mate. Back off. The child is okay. It's just a boy. There's no need to fight. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Old man is these up. Happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No. You're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if Look, she get does, out of his face, mate. There's nothing first thing you'll more do to talk about. You saved us. You saved us. Then, Give the kid a buff and you'll know he ain't been bitten. It's on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. You don't touch that boy. Don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. Of course, hey, we you have children. There's no reason to fight us. Come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Clem! <laughs> what do you do with this game? You try and say one thing and no one listens to you properly. You know earlier when I told her to go to the bathroom, I'm, I didn't mean to snap at her, I just wanted her to go to the loo. I, I didn't imagine these people would care. But they could have at least done and dealt with the damn zombie. A lot of people need to go. Oh no, oh no, 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 I think it may kill me. I can't, I can't protect anymore. Ooh. That was close. You okay? Thank you, my dear. Place. Twice you saved me now. You're definitely gonna be saved. If I could, I'd kiss you. Guys. But I'm not sure the game permits that. What could bring down a big bloke like that? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. What's wrong is right. What the hell? Pills? Yes, we're out. We've big man's got a big heart, eh? Got here. Please try to get in there. Oh, we're that's the right. Drugs will make everything better. Suppose I have no choice. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. 
This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. There's Glenn out of the TV series. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peach Tree. They're whacking out all the Walking Dead stars now, aren't they, for this game? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Do what you know is right in post-apocalyptic America. And that is vote, comment, subscribe. It won't keep us alive.